Hello everyone. This project is called Cancer Facts and it aims to shed a light on the most important concepts regarding this disease. Today, we'll talk about possible causes of cancer. If you remember our last talk, we focused on important concepts regarding this disease. Let's go back to the concept of the gene. By this point, you should know that genes are part of our DNA, containing information that codifies molecules essential to the cell cycle. This means that if something affects your gene, it will also affect the process of synthesizing these molecules. Proteins, for example, leading to a misregulation of cell division, potentially causing cancer. However, having modifications on a gene does not necessarily mean having cancer. There are modifications in genes that are common to many people, involving frequently the change of just one of the bases of DNA. These modifications, known as single nucleotide polymorphisms, don't usually cause cancer directly, although a few of them may be a risk factor for the disease. When modifications on genes are rare in any given population, they are called mutations. Cancer cells usually have more than one of these. And what causes these mutations? Well, unfortunately, many of the mechanisms of mutations are still not fully understood. However, many are already known, and scientists have reported that risk factors such as inherited genes from parents, excessive sunlight exposure, smoking, a stressful lifestyle, obesity, and other factors do increase the risk for mutations. After watching our first three videos, hopefully you now have a better idea about what goes on inside cancer cells. We'll see you next episode when we will focus on treatments for the disease, starting with chemotherapy. This project is made by William Cortopassi, a PhD student at Oxford University studying new treatments for cancer with the support of Mandelic's genomic analysis. Bye!